Hey y'all, I'm Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another tablescape video. So today we are going to be doing a Valentine's Day table. Um, I don't know exactly what it's going to look like. Last year I did all pink depression glass and a pretty mix of antique bowls and patterns from my great grandmother and they were very pretty, very feminine, very delicate. I really did like it but I kind of want to go completely different this year just just because I've got the stuff. Why not do something different? So we're going to go ahead, put all of the winter away because y'all it is spring. Like I literally have seeds growing on my counter. I have things blooming in the garden. So winter is, is done in the south. It is not officially spring spring, but we're in the in-between where it feels like spring. And then every so often we get a cold day. Close enough for me. So winter goes away. We're going to put out Valentine's Day and it's going to be a fun um, kind of figuring out of what we're doing today. I do think I want to use maybe those antique dishes from my great grandmother again. I really like those. They're sentimental to me um, and they're perfect for Valentine's Day because they're pretty pink florals. I also picked up this piece that's pink florals um, on my European cruise with my mom. We got this in uh, Kent, England, I believe is where I got this and it has a very similar pattern. So thinking maybe we tie those two things together, hopefully as part of the centerpiece. If not, it will have a prominent place on our buffet area. So we're going to get started by tearing down the winter and then starting to put up the Valentine's Day. And then of course, at the end, I will give you guys a close up look at everything and how it all plays together. So if you don't want to watch me do all the work part, skip to the end. Let's get started putting all this stuff away. Love these dishes. I literally found these at a thrift store. They are Style House Fine trying to Duchess. They have these really delicate like silver branches and pine cones and they're just, they're just pretty. They were like $10 for a whole set. I don't think they're anything fancy, but for winter, they're very pretty. All right, time lapse. All right, we're finished. Last year, we went with a lot of pink. And this year, I went with a more elegant, sophisticated kind of look. We still do have the pink in my great grandma's dishes. And I pulled in a little bit of the pink glass in our knife rest and our cake stand here for the little height in the centerpiece. And then we used a kind of champagne colored charger. These are the same chargers from the winter table. So double duty. Gray plates. These are the same plates that I usually have in pink. I have a whole set of them in pink, but I have four in gray. My Mikasa bowls. This is the French countryside. And then the little fingertip bowls from my great grandma. Now, if I'd had my whole set of Mikasa here, we might have just done white on white on white, but my Mikasa pieces, my plates and salad plates are actually at my mom's house. 
she is borrowing them. So I liked the stack and it really puts the emphasis on the floral bowls, which is what I wanted. Last year, the floral bowls were pretty, but I feel like they got drowned out. I wanted them to really be the center. So then we stayed understated with just plain stainless steel for our flatware, our um, dotted little clear glasses, even though I have plenty of pink stemware. Pretty little, literally got this for two euros in a thrift shop in England. It is obviously missing two pieces, but I'm not that worried about it. Typically, I'll just put some picks or drink stirs or something of that nature in those little spots. Or just leave them, you know, decoratively. Got my Mikasa pitcher and some pretty florals. I really like how it turned out. The buffet, we went with big serving bowls, both Mikasa and my great-grandmother's larger serving bowl. More silverware caddies. I had to put those away for Christmas, so I always enjoy getting them back out. Some bone bowls and just a pink dish, which for me is very simple. <laughs> I hope you guys liked this tablescape. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, show your friends, tell your mom. I will be back for the next table. Maybe Easter? Is Easter next? We'll find out. Bye, y'all.